Yes, welcome back to Why in the Morning. This is Queen's Wednesday and it happens to be Eid. Fit. So we are going to take a break uh, from uh, Strength of a Woman today and just demystify some things about Eid and the Ramadan season. And in studio with me is none other than Abdul. You've seen him before on Y254, but today is here for Y in the morning. And I go by the name of Barry Moses or It's Barry Moses on every social media platform. It seems I got something wrong because you gave me some look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What did I get wrong, Abdul? Uh, no, you did not get anything wrong. Actually, uh -huh. I gave you the look because... I was expecting you would mention my full name, uh -huh. but I would forgive you for not mentioning it fully. <laughs> Abdul Razak. <laughs> yeah, it's Razak. Abdul, Abdul Razak. It's, uh -huh. it's perfect okay, there's no problem. It's uh -huh. just okay. There can be so many Abduls. Uh -huh. So, you know, there can be Abdullah, there can be Abdul Fatah, Abdul uh -huh. Aziz, Abdul Kahar, all mm -hmm. of those. And they're all Abdul. So, it's all perfectly okay. So, have you heard of this story of Akina Kevo and Akina Brayo? No, no, no. You've not heard of Akina no, Kevo and Akina Brayo? I've not heard about it, honestly. Well, Akina Kevo and Akina are the new generation of slave daddies, yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. So on your side, na Ali, na Akina... Akina Moha. You know. <laughs> so your camera is number four. Yeah. Uh, kwa wale wakujui ama kwa wale wanakona for the first time. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, so... Mm -hmm. Jina tena tuna credentials zaku. Okay, assalamu alaikum uh -huh. wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to my brothers in Islam and sisters as well. For those who are praying today, Eid Mubarak, min al Faizin, min al Aydin. Uh -huh. My name is Abdul Razak Ingutia. You've seen me on several shows. You've seen me uh, on Anishid Y254, where uh -huh. we're all about Islam. It airs at 5 until 6. So uh -huh. once again, my name is Abdul Razak Ingutia. You can find me on all social media platforms uh -huh. at Official Razaki. Official Razaki, Karibu San, and thank you very much for taking Shukran. your time. Yeah. I know. Uh, you are you are to be you're supposed to be at the mosque by nine by nine yeah. all right but before you go abdul i'd like to know uh ni umrim gani kutoka umrim gani hadi gani ndo wana paswa kushiriki katika ramadan uh kushiriki katika ibada yote mm -hmm. iwe kufunga ama iwe yani iwe kufunga ama iwe kuswali mm -hmm. ibada yote ambayo anafanya muislamu mm -hmm. lazima awe ni mtu ambaye amebelege mm -hmm ama awe mtu ambaye amepitisha puberty mm -hmm. once mtu amefikisha puberty mm -hmm. anahitajika na analazimika kufanya ibada zote mm -hmm. Kuling, na pia kuongezea kufunga mm -hmm. na kuswali na ibada zote ambazo zinapaswa muislamu kwa sababu wakati mm -hmm. mtu anabalere ndio mwaka ambao unachukuliwa kama legal age mm -hmm. kwa kwa uislamu ndio mwaka ambao anachukuliwa kama mtu mzima mtu ambaye ana akili razini na anaweza kuamua mm -hmm. kwa any bila tashushi yote. Alright, so wakati ambao mlikuwa mmefunga that is from yesterday yeah. going back. Yeah. Uh, watoto walikuwa nakubaliwa ku, kukula tu kwenda shule na nam. kufanya vitu vyao vya kawaida. Naam. Uh -huh. Wanakubalika ila kuna somo ambalo tuliachiwa na mtume wetu bwana Muhammad Rahman Ahmad alizimshikie mm -hmm. alisema kuwa watoto watakapofika miaka saba mm -hmm. wafunzwe kuswali mm -hmm lakini si lazima waswali. Mm -hmm. Na wafunzwe kufunga lakini si lazima wafunge. Mm -hmm. Sasa katika kufunga mm -hmm. atakuwa akiamka anaambiwa leo tuko katika Ramadhani mm -hmm. kwa hivyo hatupiki breakfast. Mm -hmm. Kisha lakini ukisikia njaa ndio unaambie. Mm -hmm. Hata kuanzia miaka sita kwenda chini yani wanaambiwa vile vile mm -hmm. ukisikia njaa naambie nitakupa. Mm -hmm. Una fanya akose chakula kwa mila kama 2 hours mm -hmm. kisha anakwambia anakula kisha anakosa tena mpaka wakati anapofika kwa mkubwa sasa atakuwa amezoea oh, yeah. kisha baada ya akifika miaka kumi, mm -hmm. bado hajafika puberty mm -hmm. lakini akifika miaka kumi, alazimishwe kuswali mm -hmm. na alazimishwe pia kufunga kwa sababu anakaribia kufikia puberty ama miaka yake mm -hmm. ambayo atakuwa anafaa kujamulia kufanya ibada yake sasa ni funzo ambalo linakuwa instilled no. At a very tender age. Yeah. Right, Mtume Mohammed, Ume Mutaji, Mtume Mohammed. Nikamalizia Rahman Aman is Mshukia. All right, Mtume Mohammed. Alifundisha kwamba Ramadan aim yake ni nini. Katika maisha ya muislam. Ramadhani ni kama chuo. Mm -hmm. Ama tuwaita madrasa ya imani, madrasa ya ibada. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu ndani ya mwezi mtukufa Ramadhani, ndiyo wa islamu hukithirisha ama huongeza na kuzidisha ibada zao mm -hmm. ili kumkaribia mwenyezi mungu. Mm -hmm. Na pia ni ya kukuza imani kwa sababu inafanya muislamu amkumbuke mm -hmm. yule ambaye ni maskini kwa sababu ya kujikosesha chakula unapata mm -hmm. ile dhiki ambayo wanapata mm -hmm. sasa ramadhani ikishakamilika kuwa tumetoka katika skuli ambayo itwa ramadhani mm -hmm. 
ukichukua mfano wa college ama uh-huh. university ukishatoka uh-huh. ama ukisha, ukisha kuwa shuleni lazima ufanye mtihani wa kumaliza sio uh-huh. asa mtihani wa kumaliza utafatia baada ya siku ya leo ambayo ni siku ya Eid uh-huh. naam na mtihani huu waitwa sita tu shawal uh-huh. ama siku sita ndani ya mwezi wa shawal uh-huh. ambao watu wanahitajika kufunga si lazima uh-huh. lakini watafaa kufunga right. so uh, katika dini dini la Kikristo uh, Christmas ni ile ile naam Haisongi <laughs> ya baki ya pale pale ya baki ya pale pale no. mbona uh, Ramadan dates you badilika badilika last year is not the same as this year uh, this year is not the same as next year kwanza Ramadan ya mwaka huu tumeswali yani tumekuwa na Ramadan mapema kwa sababu kuna watu walitarajia itakuwa Julai mm-hmm. itakuwa Juni lakini nakwambia kuna wakati Ramadan itakuwa Januari na kuna wakati pia itakuwa Disemba mm-hmm. Kuna saa mbili. Moja ni kuwa kalenda ya Kiislamu ni fupi kuliko kalenda ya Kikristo. Mm-hmm. Ama kalenda ya ya Gregorian. Mm-hmm. Sasa kalenda ya Kiislamu ni ngapi kwa mwaka? Inaweza kuwa na tuseme an average of mm-hmm. 360 days. Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu hakuna siku katika kalenda ya Kiislamu hakuna mwezi itafika 31 days mm-hmm. na hakuna mwezi ambao una siku 28 ama 28 days. Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu pale yani itakuwa pale 28 uh, 29 30 days 29 30 29 30 kwa hivyo yamaanisha mwaka wetu waenda haraka kuliko mwaka wa Gregorian kisha kingine ni kuwa wakati ambapo mwezi uh, wakati ambapo mwezi unaambata ama mwezi unaonekana pia ndio utajua mwezi fulani waanza mwezi mwingine hauanzi sasa ndio maana kuna utofauti itakuwa kalenda ya Kiislamu utapata leo ni Ramadhani next year ukingoja iwe mwezi Mei ama Juni upate kuwa mm-hmm. imeingia machi uh-huh. naam so mnafuata mwezi ni mwezi tu ndio wapo so uh, swali nyingine ni kwamba leo mna mark the end of the fast mna break the fast today yeah. so what is the What is the what is the order of events on this particular day? Kile ambacho kinafanyika ni kuwa mm-hmm. kwanza order of events yaanza siku ambayo inatangulia. Mm-hmm. Jioni yake ukionekana mwezi ama tu siku yoyote mchana wote ukionekana mm-hmm. mwezi wajulikana kuwa kesho tunafungua ama mm-hmm. kesho ni siku ya Eid. Mm-hmm. Sasa kuna sunna ama tutasema traditions mm-hmm. kwa manufaa ya wale ambao hata wale, hata leo ndio sunna. Sasa kuna zile traditions ambazo waislamu huzifata. Kuna takbira ya idi ambayo hupigwa kuanzia wakati mwezi utakapoonekana jioni yake ambayo ni ya takbira ya idi nile ambayo watu wana Okay, sasa mm-hmm. acha nikufafanulie ni lakini sitaingia katika mtana uh-huh. madrasa. Okay, sasa <laughs> Najua watu wengi ambao wanaishi karibu na msikiti wamesikia kitu kama Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Uh-huh. kisha si kama ile kuita uh, kuita kuita watu kuswali uh-huh. inaendelea inasema la ilaha illallah wallahu akbar walillahi alhamd sasa hiyo ndio takbira ya idi ambayo uh-huh. inaanzishwa jioni yake uh-huh. na asubuhi yake na baada ya sala ya idi haifatiwi uh-huh. kitu kingine ambacho sasa si tradition lakini ni sharia na ni lazima ni kuwa wale watu ambao wana uwezo wa kula uh-huh. wanafaa kutoa he- ila ama mchango ambao itasaidia wale wasokuwa na uwezo kufuturu na kukula pia na wakafurahi pia. Sasa mm-hmm. kulingana na hadithi walisema wafasiri wa uzuoni kuwa mm-hmm. uh, kiwango cha kutoa cha kile ambacho kitakuwa cha kuwafuturisha watu siku ya Eid mm-hmm. ni two and a half kilos za chochote ambacho utakitoa mm-hmm. lakini kiwe chakula kizuri. Uh-huh. Alafu pia kama hutaweza kutoa ile tu and a half kilos mm-hmm. imefasiriwa kuwa watu ambao wanaishi katika miji kama Nairobi, uh-huh. Kisumu, Mombasa watakuwa wenye kutoa 400. Uh-huh. Watu ambao wanaishi karibu na mji watakuwa wanatoa 350. Uh-huh. Na watu ambao wanaishi sehemu zingine kama kule Embu watakuwa ama sehemu zozote ambazo ziko nje ya Nairobi uh-huh. watatoa shilingi 300 kulingana na jinsi maisha yalivyo. Kuna sehemu ambazo maisha iko ghali na sehemu zingine mm-hmm. maisha iko na bei nafuu. Alafu pesa hii italetwa pamoja na watu watakusanyika na ku na kuenjoy pamoja. Sasa haitabugia. Kubugia naona. <laughs> Sasa hii hi pesa itakusanywa uh-huh. itapelekwa msikitini uh-huh kisha itagawiwa wale ambao hawana uwezo wa kufuturu. Mm-hmm. Sasa wale ambao hawana uwezo wa kufuturu kuna tofa, kuna sampuli mbili. Mm-hmm. Kuna wale ambao ni maskini ambao hawajui hata watakula nini. Mm-hmm. 
hata kimo ya tatoni hawajui watapata nini watapata wapi mm-hmm. na kuna wale ambao labda amepika ugali akakosekana ni mboga ama amepika mchele akakosewa kuchuzi uh, sio ama uh-huh. pale sasa wale ambao wanakosa mchuzi hao si eti hawana uwezo uh-huh. wale ambao hawajui kile ambacho watakila ndio ambao hawana uwezo kabisa sasa wao ndio watakuwa wa kwanza kupatiwa uh-huh. kisha wa pili kupatiwa ni wale ambao uh, wanaitwa walaamilin alayhi yani wale watu ambao wameikusanya ile zaka ya Idi uh-huh. Fitri nao pia wana haki ya kuchukua kiwango baada ya kugawa ama wakati uh-huh. wanagawa ya hiyo zakatu fitri kwa sababu wao ndio ambao wamechukua mm-hmm. so kwa kati wa ramadhan uh, it's a fasting period yeah? Naam. so uh, what are you fasting for what uh, ni nini ya kukubaliwi kutumia kama muislamu uh, kama muislamu katika mchana wa mwezi mtukufu wa ramadhan mm-hmm. upaswi kutumia kitu chochote isipokuwa mate yako ambayo una meza mm-hmm. mengine ukubaliwi <laughs> <laughs> mate tu mate tu uh-huh. maji hutakunywa uh-huh. chakula hutakila mpaka uh-huh. wakati wa kufuturu ambao itakuwa kulingana na kutua kwa jua kwa sababu kuna wakati jua itakuwa mapema kuna wakati jua itakuwa uh-huh. kuchelewa sasa mpaka jua litue uh-huh. utakubaliwa kula chochote ama kunywa hata maji na wale wa mvinyo na sigara na vitu kama hivyo kwanza katika Uislamu mvinyo ni haramu mm-hmm. haikubaliki na pia sigara haikubaliki mm-hmm. na mtu ambaye atakuwa anafanya vile hata kama ni jioni hata kama ni usiku atakuwa yeye amekosa kwa sababu ni kama mchana unajenga nyumba jioni kifika unapomoa Sasa sana I'd so uh, I'd like to do uh, sijui kama uliona kili, kilichofanyika Sudan jana Uh, la sijapata habari kama hujapata habari uh, wale protesters wa Sudan uh, walikuwa wanauawa uh-huh. sio mm-hmm. naam uh, what do you think about this particular issue and how does it represent uh, your religion uh, kile ambacho kinaendelea kule Sudan na tuwaombe sana mm-hmm. Mwenyezi Mungu awarahishie shughuli zao mm-hmm. kule wale wale wanajeshi walikuwa mm-hmm. wanataka kuwaondoa protesters mm-hmm. kwenye streets kabla ya idi kufika mm-hmm. Lakini ukiangalia pale ni mambo ya kisiasa ambayo itakuwa ngumu sana kuchangia kwa undani kwa sababu pia wanao mambo yao ambao wanayafuatilia. So na siasa si vizuri kuzileta pamoja. Na na stop obviously si vizuri kuzileta pamoja sababu yangu kuto, kutotoa uh, maelezo kabisa kwa kuingia ndani kabisa ni kwa sababu ni siasa za kule ambazo pia hatujui, hatujui kama tunaweza tunaleta conflict of interest mm-hmm. lakini katika Uislamu watu husema Uislamu ni dini kama Ukristo ama dini zingine lakini Uislamu si dini ila ni mfumo wa maisha na ndani ya mfumo wa maisha kuna siasa kuna biashara kuna mm-hmm. spirituality kuna kila kitu ndani ya mfumo wa maisha kwa hivyo kuna siasa za Kiislamu ambazo zinafanyika kulingana na Uislamu mm-hmm. na kuna tofauti kati ya Islamic countries mm-hmm. na Muslim majority countries mm-hmm. Muslim majority countries ni kama zile ambazo kama Senegal wako 96% Muslims mm-hmm. lakini kama wanatumia sheria isiyokuwa ya Kiislamu that's not a Muslim country it's a Muslim majority country mm-hmm. na so kuna nchi ambazo zinatumia sheria ya Kiislamu kuna so za Islam countries kama Saudi kama Saudi uh-huh. no. thank you very much for, uh, Abdul for coming through to why in the morning thank you, very, thank you much. very much for the information that you have given us and mm-hmm. happy Eid thank you uh-huh. very much so uh, i'd like you to look at camera 4 and send a message to the muslim brothers and sisters mm-hmm. and then as non muslims as well and uh, especially the non muslims yes. waambie wasi abuse the holiday no. eh jua kenya tunawajua na jua wakati wakati wanapata uh-huh. holiday kuna ile siku ambayo Eid ilitangazwa kuwa ni public holiday ambao walifurahi sana hata uh-huh. walikuwa watu wa soko wa Islamu walifurahi zaidi yetu ongea na ongea na watu kwa ndugu zangu wa Islamu asalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Eid Mubarak watakabala Allahu minni wa minkum alafu pia wakati unaenda kusherekea Eid usifanye israfu wala usifanye wastage kula kiasi cha haja na uhakikishe kuwa umefurahi na wenzako wamefurahi na ufuate sunna za bwana mtume rehma na amani zimshukie na kwa ndugu zetu ambao si waislamu ningependa pia kuwashukuru sana katika ile cooperation ambayo mmetupa katika mwezi mtukufu wa ramadhani na pia ni vyema kusherehekea na kufatana na waislamu ambao watakuwa wamewa invite insha Allah sote tupate kufurahi kwa sababu idi ni siku ya furaha shukran Words of wisdom from Abdul Razak himself. So we have feedback from our viewers and Imam Anasema Hab Eid Mubarak to Fadili and Abdul Ingutia. Minal Faizin, uh, minal thank you very Aydin. much for your feedback. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you very much for being part of Why in the Morning. I go by the name of Bai Moses or it's Bai Mo on every social media platform. Happy Eid. Kalam Ival is coming up next with Girls Talk. It's a hot topic. You don't want to miss this.